One of the things we're going to do now is to do a reliability analysis. We're going to do this with Jamovi, and one of the nice things about it is they have a very nice data set for us to work with. This is going to deal with something called the five-factor model of personality. And if you're curious about that, you can take a look at the Wikipedia page for the five-factor model, which talks about the fact that there are basically five factors to describe personality as the argument, openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. And we're talking about a measure that has some individual items. And we're going to go back and do a reliability analysis for each of these subtests individually. So going into Jamovi, we'll start and say that we are who we are. And this will bring up the Jamovi screen for us. <clears throat> what we want to do is to go over to the data library. And on that, we're going to write it all the way down to the bottom here. And there's a personality questionnaire down here that we can look at. It's the only one that's tabbed that shows reliability analysis. Notice up at the top that we're in a directory called data library and then learning statistics with Jamovi data is the subdirectory inside that. So here we are. And we see we have an ID field and then a number of items that all begin with the letter A for agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, neuroticism, and openness to experience. Just to be tidy, I'm going to select all of these items that look as though they currently are measured as categorical variables, and I'm going to change those to continuous. So I'm going to copy all of these and then right click and say setup. And instead of having these be nominal, I want to have these be continuous. There, now we see that they're all continuous. So doing a reliability analysis is fairly easy. We're going to go underneath the factor tab on the far right hand side and select reliability analysis. And you'll see over here, it's going to give us a Crone box alpha, which I call coefficient alpha. It also goes by the name intraclass correlation coefficient or ICC, particular type. And we're going to select our agreeableness items, either one at a time like this, or we can hold down the shift key and left click and get all those five items over there. And you'll see that it automatically calculates the reliability for us. Pretty lousy reliability, 0.46. Well, why is that? One of the things that reliability analysis assumes is that all of your variables are positively correlated. Let's take a look at that and see if that's really the case. Here's something called a heat map. And it shows us that there are positive correlations all between items two, three, four, and five here. But item one, that little stinker, that has negative correlations. So that's probably a reverse scaled item. So instead of something where a high number indicates agreeableness, a low number indicates agreeableness. Fortunately, we can reverse scale that. We can flip those numbers. And we can say A1 is the one we would like to flip. Now, our reliability gets recalculated and our heat map gets redone. Look at all those. They're all positive correlations and our coefficient alpha is now 0 0.701. Yay. Let's come down and do another one of those. So again, we'll select reliability analysis and we'll now select the conscientiousness items one through five, one at a time, or if you're lazy like I am, all at once. Hmm. A coefficient alpha of minus number, minus 207, that's not good. Let's make a heat map and see what we have going on there. Ah, well, now it's not one item, but two items seem to have negative correlations. 
it looks like items four and five are negatively correlated with items one, two, and three. So let's come in here and reverse scale item four and reverse scale item five. Ta-da! Now the reliability is 0.73. Not a bad number. That was two subtests down. Three more to go. We'll come over here to the factor, reliability analysis, and we'll now say we want to have the extra version. Let's select these items, send them over, and see what we get for our reliability. A negative number. Let's look at that correlation heat map again. Now it seems that items one and two need to be reverse scaled. So I'm going to send item one over and we'll send item two over. And now again, the reliability is 0.76. All right, that was extra version. Now let's come in and do the next one. Neuroticism, items one through five. We send it over. Look at the reliability, 0.814. Maybe that doesn't need to have anything reversed. Let's take a look. Oh, looks like all of those are positive. So that 814 can stay the way it is. Lastly, openness to experience. That's one that I'm, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for. And there we go. Minus O2, probably need to reverse some items. Which ones, I wonder? Hmm, this one's a little bit harder to figure out. Well, maybe I probably need to flip item one. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should flip item three. Okay, let's flip item four. Well, there we go. I've got them all to positive numbers. You might pick different items to reverse scale. You know, instead of an openness to experience scale, you might have a not open to experience scale. But we notice that the reliability here is 0.595, around 0.60. It's lower than the other scales. And that's kind of what this scale does. The openness to experience scale is an interesting one, but it's also got the lowest reliability. And we only have five items here. So maybe in a fuller assessment, we would have more items and have a better reliability. Now we are done. We want to save our results, come up to the top, right click, copy all of the analysis you can save that to a pdf you can save it to a web page and so forth that's one option another option is to come out here and copy everything here and then open up word and paste it all. And there we go. There's all the analyses that we've done. Save that document and upload it to Canvas, and you will have then done your reliability analysis. I hope that was kind of a little bit interesting, and I look forward to helping you or to any questions you might have. Thanks.